security of lives and property, economic development in any country will remain a mirage. This view was highlighted at an interactive session put together by the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations in Lagos. Senior correspondent Ivy Kano was there. For a state with over 20 million people, tackling crime and insecurity could be challenging for security operatives. Confronting this challenge often brings various stakeholders together. Such is this meeting organized by the Lagos State Chapter of the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations. The Commission of Police says synergy is key to effective policing. According to him, everyone must contribute by giving useful information. There is no law and order there. Development or growth cannot thrive. We are not magicians. We work on information, we work on intelligence. And how do we get intelligence and information from the general public? There must be a kind of symbiotic relationship. That we must work in synergy. The information so received is sensitized, processed, and it becomes actionable intelligence that we can work with to achieve our goal. He's also bothered by how the Nigerian police are projected to children by their parents. Oftentimes, you see parents, guardians, and teachers using my threats. If you don't eat your food, I will call police for you. All these remarks are negative to the psyche of our growing child, who over time builds a negative perception about the police. If you don't eat your food, I will call police for you. We say this without knowing the impulse of the meaning. So we have to please reorientate our children towards the perception they have about me about the police. The chapter is satisfied with the interface between the two, describing it as fruitful. He has shed more light on what the police are doing. And um, as relationship builders as, as also, we are going to go through what he is is done, is said to us, and then placed it on different platforms, worked on it to see the way forward. We talked about stakeholders, and today he has even elaborated more on the different stakeholders that is needed. Crime should come to a minimum. The Commission of Police promised to address all security concerns raised by members of the Institute. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos. Months after the Non-Academic Staff Union of Universities and the Senior Staff Association of Nigerian Universities presented their demands, the federal government now says it's sorry for neglecting the requests for months. The apologies coming from the Federal Minister of Education. At a conciliatory meeting, the Minister of Labor and Employment says a white paper on university needs assessment will be released on the 17th of May. Tivis News Jokia Adisa reports. The non-academic unions and the universities declared a two-week warning strike on the 27th of March. The industrial action was extended by one month as a result of the inability of the authorities to commence negotiations with the striking workers. Now, the industrial action has entered its second month and the Minister of Labor and Employment, as the nation's chief conciliator, is brokering a truce. Well. He attributes the strike to the absence of communication between the parent ministry and the university staff. Session panels have been done in all places. The white paper committee has finished. They have drawn their report. And by May 17th, the white paper will be released. The Federal Ministry of Education apologizes for the stalemate between it and the workers since the strike began and promises to turn a new leaf. Adamu, 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 who has specifically asked me to come and plead for your forgiveness, that is as if your employer, Federal Minister of Education, has abandoned you. Issues contrived to make it look that way. That is not the picture. For the union leaders, beyond apology is the need to accede to all the demands of the unions in the interest of students, parents, and the nation's education sector. The apology is not a problem to us. Our problem is that the ministry should do exactly what is expected of them. Being denied by Ministry of uh, Education openly 
I never knew that we have any labor issue or any industrial issue with them. You know, and uh, they are not our employer. So I'm happy that he's here to apologize today. And I hope this apology is not political. Among the demands of the unions are implementation of the renegotiated 2009 agreement, payment of end allowances, usurpation of non-academic career positions by vice chancellors, inclusion of university staff school into the university community, non-payment of minimum wage arrears, and funding for state universities. Jokhe TVC News, Abuja.